when we got a call from one of our ground controllers and you could hear the desperation in this guy's voice, right? We had one missile left on our aircraft. And I'll be honest, that one missile was still on the aircraft because we hoped we didn't ever have to use it. It's known to be unreliable. When your Marine's in trouble, you answer the call, right? Target in sight, finger on the trigger, waiting to come in range. But most importantly, waiting for that magical phrase. You have permission to engage. Missile comes off the rail, impacts the target. Jason in the backseat shoots all 26 rockets remaining on the aircraft. So we land almost out of fuel completely out of ammo. Shut down, turn off the engines. I can already hear the voices coming out of the ready room tent. He said, man, the target was destroyed. The Marines and soldiers will be coming home tonight. Yes. I was in the hospital and there was another Marine there. He said he was in Najah. Talked about being bombarded with mortars and there was a Cobra came in, shot a missile. We paired it up and it was one of the missions that I went on. He was like, wow, you probably saved my life. 